Okay, here is where some people get lost. The first thing I'm going to do is discover whether a commandlet will accept a value by, through the pipeline from another commandment, commandlet, not commandment, commandlet by value. So here's how we do it. We're going to take a command here, and I'm going to do this example here. I'm going to do a get service, and then I'll look at a specific service, the VSS service. All right, let's open our PowerShell and do get service VSS. And I'm going to <clears throat> pipe that, not pipe it. Well, yeah, I am going to pipe it to a get member. So because I want to find out the object type. All right, the object type is service controller. So the first command object type is service controller. Now, I want to know if I can pipe that safely to a stop service command. Will the stop service command accept input, pipeline input, from get service? Let's find out. What I'm going to do on the second command is a get help full and the second command, stop service. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to look for any of the parameters that accept by value. So let's go up here and take a look. We're looking for ones that say true and then by value. False, 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 false. True by value. Here's one, the input object. Let's see if there are any others. True by property name and by value. Okay, so here's another one. Are there any more? Nope, that's all. So there are two that accept uh, by value. They're the name and the, what was the other one here? Uh, input object. So now I'm going to look and see what type of object they accept. And I'm going to find that here at the top. Look at this. The name accepts a string object, but this was not a string object. We found out it was a service controller object. And the input object command or, or parameter accepts a service controller object. Hey, what a coincidence. Because the first one output a service controller object, and this input object accepts a service controller object. So they do match. We have a match. So by value, and then we're going to discover that the object type that this outputs is accepted in this in the, as the input object of the same object type. Tricky? Yeah, you get used to it after a while, but this is one way that we can discover uh, whether or not I can safely put these two commands together in a pipeline. Wow, kind of tricky. Takes some practice and getting used to, but it's not that difficult once you uh, get used to it. All right, next we're going to look at by property name. 